Hi, Leo. Welcome to your weekly horoscope for the week of July 31st through August 6th. Mm, this, I've decided this week is going to be a career workplace reading. Um, so I'm going to pull a couple cards. These ones are going to represent what energy and what's going on within your workplace dynamics this week. These cards are going to talk about more, just more details um, of what's going on this week right now that's going to lead into this week right there. So whenever you're watching this, you know, it all just more details, more things, just to give you a little bigger idea. Then I have cards over here that um, if you, this is the inner aspect or the inner, the internal, basically you. If you attend to this part of you, this aspect of you, then it will improve your workplace and career. And then over here is just career reading advice, career advice, prosper advice, that type of stuff. Okay, we're going to get started. What is going on with the Leos right now this week? We have, I analyze. So this week you're going what's happening is you're going to kind of be a bit of a perfectionist kind of looking through what's been going on in your career whether or not you're satisfied what could be better and then also you're analyzing and this is in reverse so routine is the card but it was in reverse. So what's happening is you're basically looking at and analyzing how your work and your career is fitting in with your schedule, your routine, your life, and how you feel about it, okay? You might necessarily not realize that that's what's happening. These are the, the influences, sorry, the energetic influences that are happening in astrology. So. That's kind of what's coming in for you. You may get irritable, more or less, or impatient with the fact that what you're doing is taking you away from other things that you want to be doing. <laughs> okay, but you're, you are spontaneous, but you're less spontaneous than the Aries or the Sagittarius because you're the fixed sign. So you notice where change needs to be, and sometimes you'll take a sneaky way about to still get what you want while maintaining what you have going on over here. Okay? I don't know why that's being thrown out there, but it's being thrown out there. Um, let's see what else is going on. We have the ship, the symbol, the symbol of riches, so some sort of an inheritance, some sort of more arrays, something like that is coming for you. Or that's what's, what this one card says. This one says, this is wine, symbol of cheerfulness and gaiety. Like gaiety. I don't care what people say. Okay, it's still a word. Gaiety, it's being happy. Happy and gay. It doesn't mean homosexuality right now. Okay, not in this card. So... And it might. I mean, fuck. Who cares? Uh, anyway, so we have in your workplace right now, there it talks about travel, success, promotion, a bonus, something about being happy, but I'm hearing that it's more like a, a fake happy. You're pretty good at that. Faking appearances. You know, you are the queen or the king. Okay. And also, distrust of acquaintances. People who are seeking to betray you. So at work, I feel like, but I feel like you deal with this a lot. So this isn't anything that's like huge news or could totally fuck up your life right now and change your strategies and da-da-da. So if this is something that's going on in your life, you already know. It's already something you had a feeling about. Um, maybe there's some jealousy going on. And 
you're happy for yourself, but you can sense that other people aren't necessarily happy for you. So you're keeping up appearances. You're still doing what you would normally do, but keeping your eyes open so you could see and weed out the things that are trying to sabotage you. Okay? Um, let's see. What else we have? Okay, so what part of you or your life, if you attended to it, would give you an upper hand or an advantage at work? Let's see, Leo. Oh, <laughs> I love that this came up. King Arthur. I love that for Leo, a king card came out. So, the side of you that is a true that is true royalty the side of you that royalty is royalty because of how daring they are for the fact that they are held to a higher standard than the rest of us they're supposed to take care of us if you think about it you know like a king and a queen is supposed to take care of their people their subjects so it's the side of you that you already know that you shine you already know that you're good at your job. You already know that you stand out. But for you, it kind of gives you some anxiety because you doubt. Sometimes you um, take in what the other people are saying, like you didn't really deserve what you got. Oh, this is so funny. Okay, so one of my um, stones down here kind of was crooked and I fixed it and I heard in my head, fix your crown queen. So it's like you, you doubt yourself because of the fact that it's like imposter syndrome. You don't think that you deserve what it is that you're being given. Okay? So if you were to nurture and respect and just accept the fact that you're good, you stand out. People are going to be jealous. There's always going to be somebody in your court that is looking to destroy you. doesn't mean they don't love you, but their authentic self loves you. Their ego, their ego self, possibly, is triggered by you, threatened by you. And instead of being uh, adult enough to be their best self, they would rather tear you down. But you know this. But it doesn't mean they're a horrible person. It just means you have to protect yourself. Okay? Um, now, what is the advice, the last piece of advice for you, Leo? Achieve. Oh, I'm happy. So happy you got that one. Write down a list of all your career objectives, ranging from the modest to the magnificent. Don't limit yourself or worry about how to achieve them. Simply do your best each day, keeping your thoughts focused on your goals. It's a form of manifestation too. The trick is, is if each day you're focusing and you're reading this list of goals, that is that much more, that much energy that you are taking away from things that are not benefiting you and that you're putting into where you want to go, putting it into yourself. And because you're constantly reading it every day, you don't have to read it all day long, even if it's once a day, something on that list is going to stick in your head that you will start accomplishing little things every day and it will eventually build up and you will achieve what you're wanting to achieve but you have to know that you have the capabilities you have you deserve it that you have the deservingness you have the worth you are worth it just because you're amazing the leo is a sign that is um i'm hearing the heart chakra and the crown chakra so the crown chakra is what keeps you enlightened it's what keeps you divine it's what keeps you at a higher beauty than the rest beauty however you want to take that okay so you have that chakra most chakras only have one the leo and the aquarius both have two so for you it's like you have a big heart you want to help those in need. You want to be there for others. But at the same time, you don't feel like you're worth it. Like you don't feel like you have anything to give deep down. You know, you have a pretty big ego. You have a pretty big 
confidence level. But underneath that, there's not much there. Okay? So I love you. I hope this helped. So far, yours is the longest reading. You have a great day. Great week. I don't know. Love you.